Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Weather Extreme Video, this is the Afternoon Edition for Tuesday, the 27th of February. I'm James Spam. Beautiful weather today, but clouds roll in tonight. The weather about to turn wet. Maybe some flooding issues for the Tennessee Valley. What about the weekend ahead? What about a cold pop next week? Let's go in there and talk about things. Here we go. An upper air look this afternoon. Got an upper low near Los Angeles, out in the western states. A zonal flow here and a dry air mass. That's a visible satellite view, a bright sunny day, a few cirrus streaks on the western side of the state. The clouds are thicker back off to the west. Clouds will increase tonight. We are mostly in the 60s. Tuscaloosa managing 70, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden 68. Around the nation, much colder back in the northwestern states. We'll feel a little bit of that later this week. On the watch warning map, some winter weather issues in the west and a flood watch in effect from northeast Texas up through parts of the Tennessee Valley in Alabama. The flood watch includes the county served by the National Weather Service in Huntsville. And that's where the rain should be heaviest over the next few days. In terms of severe weather for the rest of today and tonight, a couple of marginal risks west of the state. Tomorrow, the standard slight risk includes cities like Texarkana, Shreveport, El Dorado, Greenville, Mississippi. A marginal risk over to about Tupelo. No part of Alabama involved in that. And on day three, which is Thursday. We could see some thunder here, but at this point, severe weather not expected. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. A lot for California, a lot for the Mid-South. In Alabama, heavier totals up in the Tennessee Valley. Huntsville, 4.5 inches. I'm sorry, 4.1. Muscle Shoals, 4.5. Amounts between 1 and, two, uh, 1 and 2 inches for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Amounts under 1 half inch for the South. And the bulk of that's going to be tomorrow and Thursday. And there is a moderate risk of excessive rain tomorrow, tomorrow night and early Thursday from northeast Texas up to the Tennessee Valley. And that's basically where we have those flood watches in effect. So model fans, let's take a look. This is the GFS, the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at noon. Troughing in the west. Down below that, a warm front moving northward. And we'll expect occasional showers, possibly a thunderstorm, especially for the northern half of the state. The sky will be cloudy, the high, I'd say, between 67 and 70. Thursday, a pretty deep surface low near Cleveland, under 1,000 millibars, with a trailing front down to Memphis. And obviously, Thursday will be wet with rain and thunder. Instability? No. There's just no surface-based cape showing up here for the northern half of the state. That's the reason that uh, severe weather is not outlooked, so we'll take that. Anytime you can get away with a active system on the first day of March without severe weather. That's a good thing. And then Friday, uh, we are cool and dry. Uh, the high will be close to 60. The sky will be mostly sunny with a good north breeze. And ooh, look in the northeastern states. What is this thing going to do? We've seen model output all over the board, making for a huge challenge for forecasters. We've seen that surface low out in the Atlantic, inland, all over the place. But no doubt it's going to be very windy, wet, and snowy for some. And our friends in Boston, New York City, they'll have a lot of fun sorting that out. But that's still a few days away. What about the weekend? This is Saturday. We start the day pretty close to freezing now. The GFS has dropped the low for Birmingham down to 33. And we'll clearly see many of the colder pockets in the 20s on Saturday morning. But the high should be in the low 60s, the sky bright and sunny. And Sunday, same deal. We start the day in the 30s. The high will be well up in the 60s, blue sky and sunshine. A dry weekend. Go to Monday of next week, cold front approaching from the west. Looks like the day Monday will be dry, but we'll bring in the chance of rain Monday night. And this is a week from today, Tuesday, the 6th of March. Upper low north of us and a cold front pushing through with a band of showers. Maybe some thunder, but that's not a severe weather look. This is the end of the forecast. Look at the trough on the eastern states. This is Friday of next week, March 9th, and that's going to be a pretty chilly air mass. And again, that will likely set the stage for uh, a morning freeze at some point toward the end of next week, either Thursday or Friday morning or maybe both. Here are the numbers, and again, this is coming off the ensemble from the European. 
Uh, it's got a low of 37 in Birmingham Saturday morning. But again, I remind you, the GFS is down to 33. And I do think a lot of folks will see a light freeze. And again, next week, it's got 38 on Thursday morning. I think it is going to be colder than that. So just be aware that we have several more freezes left this winter season. We'll probably get one into early April as well. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.